Today, I'm excited to announce the Practical Junior Web Tester PJWT exam and certification. We hosted a live stream covering all of the details and answering your questions, but if you missed it, here is the overview. And of course, if you still have questions after watching this video, you can always drop into our Discord server at discord.gg forward slash TCM or swing by one of our Tuesday or Wednesday live streams. Hope you enjoy. The Practical Junior Web Tester, as you all know, I'm pretty passionate about web application security. Um, and this kind of gives you like, you know, the 10,000 foot view. Um, so it's $199, comes with training. So it includes the uh, Practical Bug Bounty training, which is basically everything that you need to pass the exam is in that training course. And uh, you know, you could supplement that with, you know, like a little bit of extra reading or maybe like the API course, for example, but you don't necessarily need to. You should, if you can go through the course uh, and uh, and you feel comfortable with the exercises, then then you're ready to go, really. Um, and you get two days for the exam, um, which is, you know, uh, I think pretty generous. Like you shouldn't feel super rushed or stressed, but I feel like, you know, everybody's busy and, um, you know, actually carving out to like, even a day to do an exam, it gives you the flexibility that maybe, you know, you're going to start on Friday after work and then you've got a bit of your weekend and then, you know, you still got a bit of Sunday to, um, to rest and, and have a little bit of recovery as well. So, um, so all good. And, uh, oops, let me move on. So who's it for? Um, basically, if you're interested in web application penetration testing, maybe you're already like a network penetration tester and you, you want to kind of like broaden your skill set, for example. Um, or if you, you know, if you want to follow the path of web application security, application security engineering, um, or you're like, a, you know, maybe a DevOps um, engineer and you want to learn a little bit more about how attacks are pulled off and how you can you know, assess and design your systems a little bit better, for example, then I think this is a, a pretty good uh, course for you. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, also, if you're interested in bug bounty as well, then, you know, this is a pretty, uh, pretty good certification. And once again, the training kind of covers a lot of that as well. And all of the um, vulnerabilities in there are things that um, I've seen in the past during doing web application penetration testing. Uh, I've seen it on bug bounty. Um, I've seen lots of times, not like all the time. So, you know, there's not going to be things that come up in every pen test, but there'll be things like really key key things that you need to check for because you will find them during your uh during your career or during like your your bug bounty adventures so we try to keep the exam as realistic as possible and almost be like you should feel like you're on an engagement um and uh and if i if i come over to our our last slide um the exam's hosted for you so you know you get an ip address and then basically you have free reign to attack it um, you can use any tools you want um, outside of denial of service. You can use Web Suite Pro, Web Suite Community. You can use uh, scanners. You can use um, Fuff. You can use WFuzz. You can use Auto Recon if you want to. Um, basically, uh, any tool that you want to use to to try and find vulnerabilities. Um, you're, you're welcome to use, um, but you will probably need to use a mixture of both um, tools in like scanning, but also manual testing as well. So that's kind of one of my hints is don't rely too much on tools, but don't neglect them as well. And then, you know, if you can get the balance right, you're going to be uh, successful for sure. There aren't any flags on this exam either. So I didn't want it to feel like uh, CTFE. I wanted to give everybody the experience of uh, this is what a pen test feels like and from that you should then be feeling a little bit more confident going into like a job interview for example or a little bit more confident of uh, that your skills have been validated um, so we do outline uh, like things to find and my general advice is you know stick to the things that are on the course make sure you're thorough and methodical 
um, but there, there aren't any flags. You're expected to um, produce a report and then, and then we, we grade you based on that, on that report. And the reason for that is that you know, when people are hiring you and, and they look at your um, certifications and hopefully you know, um, as the certification becomes more popular, hiring managers will look at it and be like, ah, okay, this person can't just you know, pop a shell. They can actually um, find things, they can report them, they can um, talk about remediation and they can produce a professional report as well. So we're touching on quite a lot of a lot of soft skills and if you're like me you should enjoy the exam because you know it's web app pen testing what's what's not to love